Hello guys, you see here is an on off switch. Um, this is a push button switch and um, well this is going to replace the normal on off switch on my uh, competition buggy. When I got this they also included uh, another uh, back plate and this is uh, supposed to be um, supposed to go on the um, um, transponder uh, place where the transponder sits, but that's uh, been taken. So um, I'll have to use um, double-sided tape. Well, our RC cars and buggies have seen a lot of progress. Um, over the years, um, we use uh, titanium parts, carbon fiber parts. We have big bore shocks now. Um, tire technology has progressed tremendously. Our servos look like the servos from 10 years ago, but on the inside they're totally different. Our receivers turned from 27 to 40 to 2.4 gigahertz but the one thing that remained the same was the on off switch so the weak link obviously still is the on off switch especially on off road cars if anything gets into the on off switch then um, you can count on it that your throttle is always open and then it's bye bye car. But first, there's still this annoying thing here. The idea is great, but it's still not waterproof. Let's do something about that. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show you what's inside. Then I'm going to waterproof it. So this is how it looks on the inside and you see a lot of electronics on a tiny circuit board. Um, that is because um, this little switch detects whether you use LiPo or normal um, nickel metal hybrid batteries. And there's the actual switch. It's a tiny, tiny little switch. Okay, so let's start waterproofing it. And I'll use acrylic based kit. And I'm going to put that on the inside of this rubber and around the edges. And that should do it. As you can see, that should work really nicely and I've put some around the edges too and now close it up and that'll be it and um, with tightening these uh, tiny screws um, all the excessive kit was squeezed out now let it dry could take it right off and um, this is now waterproof, no doubt about it. And here it is connected to my battery and the rest of my electronics. So um, let's see what it does. Let's turn on that. And one push of the button will do. Yes, it does. You'll see a bright light there. Uh, the second light isn't lit up, uh, that means uh, he hasn't detected a LiPo, which is true. And this indicates um, the voltage is not low, but it needs to be charged.
But, as you can see, it works. And now let's uh, put this uh, somewhere around here. And to turn it off, simply push it for a second or two. And now it's off. So there's the um, push button uh, installed. Use the double sided tape. See how that goes. And see if it still works. Switch on transmitter. And of course, green means fully charged. So, that's um, bye bye 20th century, welcome to the 21st century. This buggy is totally up to date now. Thank you for watching and um, see you next time. Cheers!